Give me a countdown. Five, four, three, two, six. Five, four, three, two, six. They didn't even hear that either, because. Five, four, count? three, two, six. <laughs> Howdy, folks, and welcome back to a Rookie Reacts to Ruby. Uh, this is Rookie's blind reaction. Don't, sh don't listen to her. She's going to lie and say, I've already seen it. I've already seen it. She hasn't. She just always says that just to annoy people. He's lying to you. Uh, <laughs> it's her blind reaction. I have seen it. Now she'll say something like, no, he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen it because you've seen my reaction if you've watched both videos. Um, but she is new to it. This is uh, Volume 7, oh. Chapter 9. It's a good crack. It's a good crack. Oh. Crack in her joints. As above, so below, Michelle. Okay. Rookie. Um, My name's Michelle, but... I know. Everybody knows that. So the, the tagline on this is, Will you tell the truth? Nope. Or will someone tell it for you? The answer can make all the difference in the world. What do you think that means? What do you think this what is? This is school? <laughs> uh, yes. Tell me what you think. Write an essay. God, I just got triggered. <laughs> on this new show, what do you think that means? On this new episode? New show? This, this new, new show called This new episode. This new show is called Ruby. Ruby. Fruby. All right. Anyway, um, don't you know. don't have any clue what that means. None. What is whatsoever. one of the things we've been talking about with this whole volume, which is that Ruby is still lying to Ironwood? Yes. So it says, will you tell the truth or will someone tell it for you? Does it have anything to do with that, you think? No. Okay. <laughs> what do you expect in this episode? Anything? Uh, nothing. Death, Blake, and Penny. And Penny. Okay. Yes, that's what I said. Okay. Now we met, remember last episode, Willow, who is Weiss's mother. And Weiss um, obtained a recording of her father and Watts. I was waiting for you to say it. And Watts. What was I going to say? And, uh, and she was taking that away. And then Watts was shutting off the power to everybody. Uh, to the city below, remember? And it was snow was coming down. She was shutting off the heat, not the power. He was shutting off the heat and snow was coming down. So that's not good. Um, I would imagine so. Do you think that'll be in this episode? I'm trying to get any kind of reaction out of her. Um, yes, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't fucking know. <laughs> Any characters we haven't seen that might show up? Zwei. Zwei, okay. She's <laughs> predicting Zwei, Blake, Penny, and Death. Yes. And maybe something about the snow and the heat. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I guess let's get started. <laughs> it wouldn't be your dad if I didn't if, embarrass you. If you... If anybody ever sees me yawn in these videos, it's because this room is so fucking warm and it makes me all fucking sleepy inside. I have a lot of computers in this room and it does stay That's like at least five degrees warmer than the house. Why I yawn all the time. Plus I'm tired, but... I got three computers right in front of us. Not just displays, um, but three actual computers. I was going to say, technically two of them are monitors. No, no, there's a computer back there that's feeding of another input to this monitor. There's this computer, and then there's my work computer. Yeah, but these one, two, three monitors. Correct. <sighs> and you don't even give your daughter one. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I gave you a TV. You have a 27-inch or whatever TV that you can hook your laptop up to. You mean your laptop? <laughs> my laptop up to. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> she's gonna cut that out. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut anything out. Every time I watch these videos, there's always like jump cuts. Jump cut. <laughs> it's snowing. The rain is falling. No, it's snow. Oh, I don't think we've ever seen Atlas from underneath before. Uh oh. And my father does too. He what? what is this? What? <laughs> what? Oh, Ironwood's pissed. Play it. That, that <laughs> is, I, I can explain that. It's forgery. That your seat. Yeah. <laughs> well, he started with the it's fake thing. Oh. I don't know why he didn't keep, keep up that argument. Jacques Schnee, you're under arrest. <laughs> 
I do that? <laughs> can I do that? Can I do that? <laughs> Get Ugh. in. System and frame someone else for the job. Mm. Yeah. Penny seems so honorated. All while stealing an election. And once you became a councilman, your newly granted clearance. But I also know he's not really a councilman anymore. To secure network. Outrageous accusations. <laughs> I only intended to win the election. I had nothing to do. Only. Only. <laughs> Robin's like you. I, I didn't know he was planning this. Yeah. You are going to shut your mouth and get the heating grid up and running again. I... This daughter. <laughs> she learns about it. Can you block his access? It's too late. Robin's running like, who is she? Starting to lock us out. Can we trace him somehow? Find out where he's hiding? <laughs> he's going Favorite. To we need his access point. If it's so cold, why aren't they in their homes where it's going to be warmer? Behind insulated walls. Maybe starting fires in their fireplaces if they have them. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! That just pissed him off. That's just gonna make it worse. I think that's one of the walls that Robin was trying to get him to fix. <laughs> well, so much for that. That's where one of those jump cuts will be. Yeah. Something to protect yourself. You're not alone. <laughs> we can do this together. <laughs> I... Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping something very important from you. Thank you. For no reason. All right, everybody. It's time to do our jobs. Yay, finally leaders. I'm including Penny. She said. Yes. Let's make it happen, hun. Who that bitch? Who do you think that bitch is? Mm. Oscar, that smile did I not seem familiar to you? Nope. Okay. I just I had the to say, that maybe oh, they're gonna date soon. A lot of people are putting them together, yeah. They've agreed they're gonna tell Ironwood finally, Michelle. Finally choosing the truth over fear. I think you're needed elsewhere. But that'd be weird if you're Ospin sure. came out during their relationship. Yeah. Uh, I've got it. Got in the way of that. You mean <laughs> Ozma? He's really old. Oh, yeah. there. There. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then again, Ozma has had relations with women who were tons younger than him throughout his entire life, all his lives, right? All right, everyone. I need to but he knows to Ruby, though. Weird. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. as an older person, yeah. Overkilling Grim. These two Aww. patch up there. Aww. Yeah, they have. Cool. Look at Sean's going to sleep. <laughs> oh, they didn't hold hands. I know, they gave each other a look. I know, but then Yang looked away. She smiled. Oh. She smirked. Let's look at that again. She smiled. Look, okay, oh, you're right, you're right. They look. Okay, she looked down and smiled. Okay, you're right. You're right. But they didn't hold hands. Who cares? They never, they like never Ren and Nora hands. did. Yeah, they do. Really On the transport at the end of Volume Six, they held, they clasped each other's hands. Remember? She, you say that like you were there. Ooh. Our transports are here. Is Ozpin bleeding into Oscar now? Oscar. Because uh, I was gonna say I, anyway. Oscar, I like that. Oscar. Getting seasick. Vomit boy. Perfect. Remember Vomit boy? All the way back. Let's go. Uh, well. Remember he has good luck. He just. Harriet, don't stay too long. Uh. Try to keep up, kid. Is that like her idol? <laughs> She is kind of like her idol. Well, I don't know about idol, but somebody she likes. Show off. They're fucking, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot of people are sensing a, a romantic tension between them, which leads me to believe that um, Clover is going to betray them. I'll be reporting this rough treatment. <laughs> What's your name and badge number? Who dis bitch? I don't fucking know. You just still don't know. No. You dancing? You don't know. Not yet, at least. 
Ugh. You're back early. This bitch. Yeah. Tender. You found what we've been looking for. So that means that's this bitch. We're saying bitch a lot. Ice cream bitch. <laughs> so it was Neo. It's ice cream. And the coolest thing is if you go back to the block, bitch. if you go back to the previous episode, Michelle, when they first arrive at the dinner party, Neo is there. He's being the waitress or whatever the whole time. They can't see my hand when it's down this low. I was she's just going back and forth with my hand. She's being a waitress. So she's been in the... She made her first appearance Cinder last block, episode. We just bitch. didn't know. Block bitch. So what are your thoughts? Cinder block bitch. That's your final thought is cinder block bitch. Yeah, that bitch. How many times can we say bitch before YouTube like demonetizes <laughs> bitch. us? Or something? Well, we're going to be demonetized anyway, but... He ain't monetized in the first place. Hey, we ain't monetizing this stuff in the first place. Um, any other thoughts other than center, center block? I mean, <laughs> I a lot of stuff happened. It did, did but I can't narrow Okay, well, I'll down. run down it. You yeah, tell me you what run, your thoughts you are. You narrow it down. You tell me what your thoughts are. First of all, we continue the confrontation with Ironwood. Well, I like when... The, okay, here we go. Now they're flowing okay, back to you. Okay, cool. Um, what's his face? The, the, shock. Shock. Yeah. In trouble. Yeah, and you notice he, he became... Got caught up. You notice he was all cocky and like, you, you are nothing compared to me. And then all of a sudden he got caught and he was like, ah, don't hurt me. Don't he hurt me. He got caught up. Wife's cape said, "Dad, you're under arrest." I could do this, right? <laughs> Can I do this? And then Winter's like, "I wanted to. I, I can't wait to get you into interrogation and beat you up, Dad." I mean, not, not really, but I mean that's kind of the, it's like. Rrr. He was very. He has a lot of pent up <laughs> negative emotions related to her father, pretty clearly. Pretty clearly. Anything else? Um, Penny not in trouble anymore. Penny's exonerated. Even Robin believes she's she's innocent. As Robin pointed out, she said, "All the people who died that night, the blood is on your hands." Ironwood found to, to out. Ironwood what? Found out. Found out. Found out. We don't know if he found out everything because we only saw the end where he said, "So Salem can't be killed." We don't know if if Oscar told him. Everything they found out about, you know, the, the deal, what the artifacts mean when they're brought together, all of that stuff. We don't know if he's told them everything, right? So that's why when he said, no more secrets, and Oscar said, yeah, no more secrets or whatever, I, I kind of saw that as foreshadowing. Like, like Oscar didn't tell him something important. And he's going <coughs> yeah, to find out. <coughs> if, well, you didn't have to cough straight into the Sorry. mic. <laughs> So, I think there might be another secret coming out, and that's that makes me worried because I still believe Iron Man's a good guy. Iron He's Man, Iron Man, <laughs> Ironwood. He is Iron Man. <laughs> Ironwood is a good guy Fucking and doing Iron doing Man. everything he can yeah. to protect everybody. And I hate that they've been keeping things from him, and honestly, for no reason. I, I don't buy the reason that Ruby has been saying. <clears throat> you know, we can't trust him. What do you mean you can't trust him? You trust Uncle Crow. Why the heck wouldn't you trust... You mean Father Crow? Or whatever. Why wouldn't you trust Ironwood, who is at the same level, if not more, than Crow in the whole Crow. Ozpin, Ozma fight against Salem Crow. battle? Anyway. Crow I'm, is... I'm not going to dwell on that, because they've told him... Bisexual. Essentially. That's quite possible. <laughs> but like I said, that leads me to believe that something's going to happen to Clover or Clover's going to betray him or something. Because uh, it could also be that he just, he just likes him. I want a bone. Okay. That's possible. Well, I'm not going to say no. but um, So, Ren and Nora are in good shape. Ren and Stimpy. When Nora, man, when Nora reached down and... Nora. and I said Nora. I said Nora. I, I was going to say Ren, and then I changed it to Nora, so it came out kind of weird. Nora. When Nora reached down and touched Ren's hand, I was like, don't you dare pull your hand away from her. And he didn't. He just he clasped her hand, so I like that. Of course you do, because it's Nora. Ren and Nora. Aurora. Is their ship name? Ren Nora. Ren Nora. Aurora is their ship name. Ren Um, But I like that. And then Blake and Yang, you're right. When I first saw it, for some reason I thought Yang kind of looked away. But I did notice they didn't touch, they didn't hold hands, which they did do at the end of Volume Six. 
when they were on the, the transport, <clears throat> they absolutely held hands. And they didn't do it this time. Absolutely. But Yang did kind of smile, so. Yes. That's good. <clears throat> Jacques was arrested. I, I love how the one councilman said, uh, treason or, or and and a, a, what is a conspiracy to commit murder or something like that. And I'm like, well, treason's got the the higher penalty, really. I mean, it's the bigger crime in most nations, but anyway, than conspiracy to commit murder, which still can get you in some places that have capital punishment, can still get you a death penalty, but still. Anyway, death. I don't know why you would need both, but hey, just in case he squeezes his way out of one of them, which squeezes. he probably will do. Squeezes or weasels. Again, I combine words a lot, Michelle. You know that. Sweezels. I suffer from Ryan Mouth. I can I combine words a lot. What else? I don't know, but I've been holding this tickle in my throat. So you're gonna you're gonna well, just cough straight into the mic like you always do. <sighs> okay. Fucking rude. <laughs> All right, so Cinder, Neo, back. Ice cream. Stuff going down. Cold in the city. Rioting in the streets. Cold. Which doesn't make a lot of sense because you inside your house is going to be warmer than out on the street. So why don't you stay in your house? You'd I'm sure you have fireplaces because we've seen smoke coming out of stacks. Like you can see in this still image we're looking at in the top left, there's some smoke stacks. So people have fireplaces. Why aren't they lighting their fires? And why do they need to go in through a computer network to turn the heat back on, Michelle? Surely there's a way they can go in and just. Who are you calling, Shirley? Surely there's a way that they can just go in and manually turn the heaters, the heat back on. They don't need to go in through a computer network to do it, right? Hmm. No. I know. I agree with you. All right. So what are you looking forward to next episode with this? Um. With all this that just happened. Penny, Blake, and Death again. <laughs> no, anything no. in um, particular? Uh, ice cream. And Cinder Block, bitch. You want to see more between and, Cinder and Neo? Um, and what they're up to? Yeah. Uh, Neo has learned a lot. She's been hanging around the house. Yes. But she can't talk. <laughs> she can hold up the signs like Chibi. Uh, yeah, like Chibi. <laughs> I think she could probably just write it down or something, too. Or just and nod and shake to questions that Cinder has. Or she's been tapped and Cinder has been listening to it as well. Okay, so looking forward to what they're going to be up to. There's a lot of ba Grim battles coming because they all flew down to fight the Grim. So theoretically, that's going to happen. There's going to be some confrontation between Tyrion and Watts coming up, right? Maybe that battle we saw in the intro between Robin and Crow and Watt and uh, Tyrion will happen. I hope so. Rematch, and I hope I, Tyrion, Tyrion's a really good villain, but I kind of hope I kind of hope he dies. They all die. I kind of hope they get Tyrion. I really do. He's a good villain, but I kind of want him to go. I don't know why. I just I, I want the heroes, I think, to have a good victory. And getting rid of Tyrion would be a good victory. Or maybe Watts will die. One of them needs to die. <laughs> Alright. That's it, Michelle. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Catch you next time. <laughs>